she woke up different, done with trying to figure out who was with her, against her, or walking down the middle because they didn't have the guts to pick a side. She was done with anything that didn't bring her peace. She realized that opinions were a dime a dozen. Validation was for parking, and loyalty wasn't a word, but a lifestyle. It was this day that her life changed, and not because of a man or a job, but because she realized that life is way too short to leave the key to your happiness in someone else's pocket. How do you know you're not a robot? How do you know you're not a program? How do you know you're not a virus? How are you sure of anything at all? Understand that your soul is not bound by three-dimensional earthly existence. Maybe, just maybe, you and I belong among the stars. Take a peek. This is what you're made of. Oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, iron, zinc, sulfur, sodium, phosphorus, magnesium, potassium. This case study details the historical discovery of the structure of DNA. Images of this key molecule are as iconic as those of Mona Lisa, and identifying its structures has proven to be as intriguing a mystery for scientists as the reason behind Mona Lisa's smile has been for art historians. The case is woven together by a series of fictional diary entries that detail the history of the discovery of DNA structure, the major players involved, their ethnic dilemmas, and the role of women in science. The case is designed for a high school course or introductory undergraduate genetics biochemistry course. It can also be used as an interdisciplinary case study bringing genetics, bioethics, arts, and the status of women in science. Talk to your DNA. Our DNA is like a genie in a bottle, except there are genes in our body connected to the unified field of the universe. They react to our thoughts to make our wishes a reality by attracting people, things, and experiences which we desire and think about most. In future videos, let's go a little deeper into the subjects of who we are, why are we here, our physical makeup, our genetics, chromosome, sequencing, genes, and more. Our generation has lost the value of romance, the value of trust, the value of conversation. Sadly, small talk is the new deep. Dear woman, Dear ladies, dear goddess, he's going to come. The one who's going to make you feel like everyone else was just practice. The one safe enough to show your girlfriends, smart enough to show your mother, strong enough to show your flaws. He'll love your mind first, heart second, body always, regardless of your weight and flaws. He'll prove to you that trust isn't just a word, that love isn't just a feeling, that boyfriend or husband isn't just a title. The only question is, will you be ready? There's nothing worse than having a king on your doorstep while you're in bed with a joker. Something to think about, ladies. Ladies, get used to the fact that some people will never like you because your spirit irritates their demons. Let that sink in.
Take chances, tell the truth, date someone totally wrong for you, say no, spend all your cash, get to know someone, random, be random, say I love you, sing out loud, laugh at stupid jokes, cry, apologize, tell someone how much they mean to you, tell a jerk what you think, laugh till your stomach hurts, live life, regret nothing, regret nothing. This is a part of living.
In this African tribe, when someone does something wrong, they take the person to the center of the village where the tribe surrounds him and for two days say all the good he has done. The tribe believes each person is good, but sometimes people make mistakes, which are really a cry for help. They unite to reconnect him with his good nature. This is such a beautiful act.